name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm Pastor Karen Dunham serving the Lord at Living Bread International Church in the city of the great King, Jerusalem. What a season we're having. Come from the four winds, O breath of God, and be released, be released, O breath of God, from the throne of grace all the way to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. Let these words sink deep in the name of Jesus. And today I'm in Hebrews 11. Wow. And I'm in verse 13. And it says, These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but they saw them from afar off. They were assured of them. They embraced them and they confessed they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. You know, this Bible is our inheritance. It's every promise is yes and amen in Jesus Christ our Lord. Now it says the patriarchs and the matriarchs, they saw the promises. They saw them from afar off. And they said, whoa, we're just strangers on the earth. We're pilgrims passing through. Remember, even Abraham, he refused to live in houses. He stayed out there in the tents, a pilgrim passing through. And it says here in verse 14, those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. And I am seeking the eternal. I am seeking what God has for me. And the brighter that vision gets, wow, 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 wow. And it says truly in verse 15, if they had called to mind that country from which they came out of, they would have had an opportunity to return. Now the Bible says, if you look back, Jesus said, remember Lot's wife, don't look back. And it says right here in Hebrews, if they would have thought about the country they come out of, they would have had an opportunity to return. But, but, in verse 16, but they desire a better, a heavenly country. And wow, these are the words I hope to hear when I stand there in that day of glory before God the Father in the face of Christ. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. So what is this word saying? This word is saying that they had their eye on the eternal. They had their eye on what God was building for them. They weren't looking back to where he called them out of. And it says here that they desired a heavenly country. Therefore, God wasn't ashamed to be called their God because he had a city prepared for them. So they desired a heavenly country. And Lord, I just pray right now for all of us, God, who Babylon, who the world has a hold of, set us free, God. Give us a vision of the heavenly country, God, that we too, when we stand in the throne of grace, can hear those words, I'm not ashamed to be called your God. Here is the city I've prepared for you. Wow, God, shake off the world, shake it off, and forgive us and forgive your soldiers, God, for those that looked back, that got sucked back up into the world. Let the wind blow. God, come from the four winds, O breath of God, and be released and set your people free, God. Set your people free with a fresh vision of that heavenly country, God, that we can keep our eyes steady on all that you have for us. In Jesus' name, God bless you. He wasn't ashamed to be called their God. Wow. That's the word of the Lord for today. Hallelujah. God bless you.